just play his kid because he's a coach's son. He plays a kid because he knows how to play the game. Tom Allen is my father, and yes, I do play for him, but he is my dad first and foremost. Football has been around ever since I've been born. When I was little, we would go to Ben Day's practices, and I'd be the ball boy. So that was my time to be with him. I jumped to college coaching, you know, when he was, uh, I think, in the second grade. That's one thing in this profession where the, the family time can be a real difficult thing to find. I played a lot of football in high school, and he probably went to uh, probably eight games my entire high school career, not many. At first, I was absolutely not. I'm not going to go play for my dad. That's not really what I wanted. When I started thinking, it was either he'd always see me or he'd never see me play. At the time, I wasn't the head coach. You know, when we first started recruiting, matter of fact, when he committed here, you know, I, I told the guys, the guys, I want you guys recruit him. You guys figure that all out. I want it to be his decision because this is where he wanted to be. Initially, when he first got here, it was kind of like, that is the head coach's son. And I think he had to try to get away from that a little bit to let the guys know that I'm a football player, I'm your teammate first. And then when I go home, that's my dad. I love you, Tom. You know, being a coach's kid is, it can be tough. And Indiana once again has Thomas Allen down on the field. And now being helped up as his dad comes over, head coach Tom Allen. And now the crowd applauds as Thomas Allen walks slowly off the field. He's done for the season. Really breaks my heart. Awesome young man. Obviously, I know his mom well, and he's my son. So it's pretty personal, but uh, I hate it for him. He'll be back a year from now. Connor Hayward able to slip a tackle. A flag down, though. Hayward knocked out of bounds. You got an Indian and a player that is injured. Official's timeout for an injured player. Tom Allen's son, Thomas Allen. I was in shock. When your hip pops out, that's excruciating pain. I couldn't even, I, can, I don't want that on my worst enemy. My heart just was ripped out for him because I knew how hard he had worked to come back. I just told him how much I loved him. And you know, it's just, it's hard. I try not to think about too much. I get, get all emotional, start crying again. So it hurts so much for Thomas because I know what he's been through to get here. So he's a tough sucker. So I think just through all these injuries, he's been my number one supporter. He's cried with me. He's there every step of the way. I don't know if I could have done all this without him. Hey, where's Thomas at? Thomas. And him being there every step of the way has been awesome for me. Yes, sir, T.A. Yes, sir, T.A. Yes, sir. You have to put this thing, baby. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Hey, I love y'all. That's what we need. Let's go, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tom, welcome to Indiana University as the head football coach. We're thrilled to have you here. I have a vision to create a culture of accountability, toughness, and love. I don't think they understood what LEO really meant. You know, I've, I've been talking about it since I've been here, you know, and, and was kind of mocked for it at first. But that didn't really phase me because I knew what it really meant. L-E-O! That's our DNA! That's what makes us different. When you talk about accountability, toughness, and love, and it's branded with the phrase LEO, which is love each other, it's connecting from your heart to their heart. It's that heart, that passion. When they know you love them more as a person, when it's about them as an individual and not what they can do for you as a player, that's when I think is a game changer. So you guys are a special group. I've said we it. Love you, Tom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When somebody yells, we love you, coach, he knows that he loves each and every person in that room as well. But he also knows how much he's changing people's lives in a real impactful way. 
Tom is a very emotional guy. He's always been an emotional guy ever since I've known him. Elio is not just a little thing on your locker. It's who we are. Love is a choice. This is an emotional game. And so showing emotion doesn't mean you're soft. Doesn't mean you're not tough. It just means you're passionate about what you believe in. I love this football team, man. You got no idea. I just try to be me. I ask one thing. When you finish tonight, you finish empty. Nothing scripted, it's just reacting. I want them to know I love them, I care about them, I want to hold them accountable because I want them to be great. This team has so much fight, so much grit. It's unbelievable. Just how much effort he gives to us each day. You don't always see a head coach bring in the energy that a player would bring in a practice. Dominate! Woo! It means a lot, you know, just knowing that good things actually do happen to good people and how much he actually deserves this. I just love this football team. <laughs> That was special, you know, and uh, didn't expect it. You know, I was, first I was just kind of like, guys, I'm trying, I'm trying to talk here. And they kept jumping on me, knocked my headsets off, and I was trying to put it back on. Yeah. It was awesome because I love them and they love me. You can't fake that. You do that together with guys you love and care about. It don't get any better than that. They are truly excited, and it's because of what he pours into them as men, and it's what he pours into this program every single day he gets off. Hey, Cole! Come here! Come here!